So I've got a fun question here. What's the natural logarithm of minus one half? So let's plug that into the calculator and see what happens. So natural logarithm minus one half, my output would be error. So in real terms, no logical solution. So calculator, my calculator here reads error. So how are we gonna find an answer to this? Well, it's what I call stepping over into the dark side, which is going into complex analysis. So complex analysis. And if we use complex analysis, then we can find a solution to this. So complex analysis breaks this down then into a couple of parts. So if we want to find the natural log of A plus BI, that is how most complex numbers are built of. So here, our value is A plus BI, A plus BI. That, in this case, is minus one half. So here, my A, as minus one half is a real number, the A corresponds to the real number. So A equals minus one half. And B in, uh, evaluates to the imaginary part of this number, in which case I can write here plus zero I. So my B is zero. So that's how my complex number is made up of. Now, if you want to find the log of A plus BI, what we do is we break it up into two parts. We want the log of the absolute value of A plus BI. And then on top of that, we add the argument multiplied by I. So here I, let's establish our I. I equals the square root of minus one. Again, we won't get anything out of that in our calculator. Basically what we have here is x squared equals minus one. And that's uh, an equation we can't solve. That's when we use our i. So for examples like this. So the natural log of a plus bi absolute value plus i times the principal argument of a plus bi. So that's our way in which we can calculate this result. Okay, let's break this down into two parts. So the log of a plus bi, well, we've established here, we've got minus half. So we've got the natural log of minus one half. And now what we need to do is find the principal argument of a plus bi. So here we need to go into our coordinates on the complex plane. So we have our real numbers, which in uh, normal graphs would be the x-axis and our y-axis on complex numbers is the imaginary axis. So that's the imaginary numbers. So let's plot this number here on this complex graph. So a equals minus one half. So minus one half could be somewhere here and our imaginary number is zero. So it's going to correspond to this number here on the real number line. Now, what's our value here for our principal argument? Well, our principal argument, if we go this way round, this angle here will give us pi. So therefore, our principal argument is pi. So here we just plus i times pi. Now, what we can do is now is just break this down and solve this so we can get some result. So the absolute value of minus a half is a half. So the natural log of one half plus i pi, that's our imaginary component to our result of our natural logarithm. And the log of one half, we could rewrite this. There's our log identity, the log of x over y, that equals the log of x minus the log of y. So here we've got log of one half. So using this, we can write log of one minus log of two. So that's what we've got here. So I'll just put a little line under these just so we can see that these are our L's. So the natural log of one minus the natural log of two plus i pi. Okay, 
So the natural log of one, we know this is zero. So now we're left with minus natural log of two plus i pi. So that is our principal result. But in complex numbers, looking at this, we also have infinite solutions. So we could go around this more than one time. And we could go around again and again and again and again. So what we can do is here, to include the infinite solutions, we could put plus 2npi, where n is in the real numbers. OK, so we could have plus i pi plus 2n pi, and then we have to multiply this by i again as well, 2n pi i. And that will give us our infinite solutions to the natural log of a plus bi, which we have the natural log of minus half with our original question. So this will give us our result. Okay.